What is up everyone, my name is Phil, the channel is Phil's Polls. And we are back with another card opening video. Today, we have uh, a little piece of my childhood, 1989 Upper Deck, with hopefully the iconic Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card in it. A card that, you know, I think everybody knew of when they were younger especially if you're my age or a little bit older. I think it was like the first modern day car to reach $100, uh, which is pretty crazy. It's obviously come down in price quite a bit because people have realized uh, how many of these things were, were printed, which back in the day, nobody ever knew that. And then people realized that there was, you know, tens and tens of thousands of this card produced uh, and the price has dropped a little bit. But it's still really, really cool to be able to open this box it is a sealed box, although when I bought it on eBay, it was advertised as a sealed box, and then this it came with this baseball card exchange sticker on the back, and actually the, the plastic wrap has the baseball card exchange logos on it, so I'm not exactly sure the deal with that, but we'll open it up and see what is inside of here. Hopefully we can get a Griffey. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of older throwback videos. I threw out the idea on Twitter a couple days ago of possibly taking the channel to daily uploads, maybe with like one day off, so like six uploads a week. And um, it's certainly something I would entertain the idea of doing, um, but you guys gotta understand, you know, you expect high end from me on this channel, and if I'm gonna upload six videos a week, it's just not realistic that I'm gonna do $1,000, $2,000 openings every single video, um, as I am not, oh, well, I get some stuff for free, but for the most part, I pay like retail price for everything I open on the channel. So it's, it's kind of unrealistic to expect that, but, um, I am down for it and hopefully in the future I can, uh, get some better deals on products and, uh, we can go from there. But let me know what you think about, um, you know, everyday videos or at least six day a week videos. Let's get into this box. What's funny is on the, uh, <laughs> on the art for the box, it has Mike Jackson, Mike Sosha, Jack Howell, and Andres Thomas. So those were the four guys headlining 89 Upper Deck. Little did they know there was uh, a Griffey card that was gonna come out of this. So let's open it up and see how we can do. Again, this looks like secondary mark. I mean, this is, yeah, this is from Baseball Card Exchange. So I'm hoping this is just a sealed box that, uh, you know, was the cellophane was damaged and they resealed it and it passed all of their you know, expectations and stuff, but let's get into this. This is 89 Upper Deck, and actually, if we pull, I'm really hoping all these cards aren't stuck together in these packs, because that would be just a nightmare. But um, if we pull a Griffey and it's like in good shape, and like PSA, you know, eight, nine, even 10 worthy, uh, it's still worth quite a bit of money. I mean, it's come down, but doesn't seem like they're too stuck, so that is a good sign. Hopefully not too many upside down cards. We got a, oh uh, gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Denny Walling, Roger Clemens with the Red Sox. I'm not gonna flip every card upside down unless it looks like it's, I don't know what that is. What are these, hologram stickers? Yeah, so you got a, there's an Expos and an Indians. Little hologram dot stickers, that's kinda cool. Let's see who else we got in here. Gerald Clark with the nice uh, nighttime photo. And then we got backwards, upside down, all sorts of stuff. That's just great, just great. All right, so there are a lot of packs to get through. So basically what I'm gonna do is fly through these cards until I think we got a Griffey. And then I will stop because otherwise, I mean, my goodness, upside down, backwards, Sandy Almar Jr., that's a rookie card. That's cool, John Smoltz. There's the stickers getting in the way. Backwards, upside down. Same two guys we had in last pack and Mike Sosha with the Dodgers. I don't know what these are made out of, but it's like, there's a Wade Boggs. I don't know if you can tell, I promise it's Wade Boggs, there we go. 
I am getting a new camera soon, so hopefully uh, that will help with our autofocus issues. Pedro Martinez, rookie. Sorry, Ramon Martinez, his brother. Rookie. I was going to say, I don't think Pedro had a rookie in this, but maybe he does. I could be wrong. Bobby Meacham, former uh, Yankees coach. I want to say he's back with uh, Girardi and Philly now. Jim Eisenreich. Rick Dempsey. So we've had, I mean, if we could hit that kind of luck with Griffey, we've had three Rick Dempsey's in three packs. But yeah, like I said, I am getting a new camera, so hopefully that will help with our um, autofocus issues. Although I've heard that uh, no matter what you do, sometimes, you know, the sensors struggle with this kind of stuff. Just bringing it foreground to uh, background and so forth. Tony Penny, look at those glasses. That's great. He was a coach of mine in New York. All right, so we will go through, again, Rick Dempsey, Wally Backman. That's four times in four packs. So it seems like Upper Deck didn't have the uh, collation quite down back in the day. Although if you hit uh, Griffey's in that regularity, you wouldn't be upset. Let's see who else we got here. Sensing a theme. I tweeted the other day that I opened an entire case of 2019 Bowman Heritage because I got a really good deal on it and I like to open boxes in my, you know, not on camera, like it, it's fun for me still. So I decided to open up some boxes and out of four boxes I got like three autos of the same guy. And I've seen that that's happened before, a horribly centered and it's got like a tail on that corner, Joe Carter. But in Bowman Heritage, I've seen, that's cool, Mark McGuire, I've seen that you can actually, that happens, which is unfortunate that the, here we go, Rick Dempsey. Okay, so every pack's gonna have a Rick Dempsey. But, uh, so I decided, like, I, there was no way I could just open those, those four boxes knowing damn well what else was gonna happen in the rest of those. Uh, I think it's uh, 16, no, more than that, 18 boxes in a case. And so I just opened the rest of them just to be like, you know, let's see what this, if this is actually true. And here's Rick Dempsey again. So he's in every pack. And sure enough, I got out of 18 autos, uh, I believe it was nine of the same guy. Now, if it was Wander Franco, I wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> I would have been happy about it. But, uh, you know, that's just, it's just crazy that they can't, uh, can't figure that stuff out. But... Anyway, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a Rick Dempsey in every pack. It seems. Let's see if we can break the streak. There's Saber Hagen. Oh, oh, Backman. So he's back. Wally Backman's back. Uh, so he's been in every pack so far. But we did break the streak of uh, of the other guy. So that's nice. And uh, no Griffey yet, obviously. But hopefully we uh, hopefully we at least get one. And I'm just hoping that the centering is solid. And like the core, it doesn't have any like obvious uh, damage to it, or and then and there was Wally. He's back. Wally's back. So Wally Backman's going to be in every pack, it appears. So if he had turned into Griffey, this would be a hot box. Yeah, I just hope one of the Griffies is uh, in good shape, or even if even if we get one. I mean, I'm no guarantees, but if there's one in good shape, that would be cool to grade. Bert Blylevin with the Angels. Upside down, backwards, the whole deal. Len Dykstra. So we are like just over a quarter of the way through these packs. So this will be this video will be a little bit on the longer side, but I got so many complaints about the 87 Donruss that I didn't open every single pack, even though I got all the names I could have hoped for. That's a very odd photo. Like just sitting in the dugout, not even ready, bad lighting. Um which I thought was odd, but people, I guess, like to see every pack opened. So, we'll do that today. Burt Blay, let him again. Will Clark. So it seems like these boxes are broken up into quadrants. And it appears as though every pack in each quadrant will have, like, the same player at the end. So, so far, that's Burt Blay, him. Hopefully we hit a, a quadrant with all the Griffies, because that would be, that would be nice. Uh, Dwayne Henry, Burt Blylevin again, Joe Carter, this time it's centered nicely and doesn't have like a piece coming off of there. So that's good. 
and this is, I don't I'm not even keeping track of packs, but Washington, Rookie Checklist, Sandy Elmark Jr., Ken Griffey Jr., number one there, so he does exist in this set. Burt Blyloven again, there you go. I'm going to take a wild guess that, uh, let's see how many packs are left here. Seven packs will have seven Burt Blylevens in them. Angels Burt Blyloven. Prince. Bob Boone, dad of uh, Yankees manager and longtime Seattle Mariner, bunch of teams, Brett Boone and Aaron Boone. Uh, let's see here. Mario Diaz, not the Mariner we're looking for. Steve Sachs, Burt Blylevin, keeping the streak alive. This guy, Kelly Paris, who's uh, rocking some nice, uh, nice specs there. That had to have been dangerous, just wearing like librarian glasses on the baseball field. Like you take a ball up in the face. I mean, it's, that's dangerous enough on its own, let alone with, you know, glass shattering into your eye. Jack Morris. Uh, a bunch of upside down cards, nothing noteworthy. Bruce Ruffin, Burt Blylevin as expected. And we are approaching the halfway mark of this box. I mean, most of the, most of the singles in here aren't worth a penny, so I'll probably give them away. Don Baylor, Dave Valley, Val. Not the angel we're looking for. There's our backwards and upside down. Burt Blylevin. I really hope one of these stacks has Griffey in it. So we get like eight Griffies. That'd be pretty sweet. There's gotta be one in good shape out of those. Uh, Greg Matthews, Lee Smith, just chilling. Those are the stickers. Burt Blylevin, Roger Clemens, Ken Caminetti. Young Ken Caminetti with the Strohs. All right, so three packs and we're halfway. Sorry if this video is dragging. This was the the norm in the junk wax era of just a ton of packs in every box. But hey, no Burt in that pack. What is going on? I'm not complaining. I'm tired of seeing his face. Uh, I wonder how many cards are in the set. I don't even know. It seems like we haven't had too many duplicates. I mean, I'm sure we've had a couple. Oh, Bert's back. Bert is back. He took one pack off, and then he's like, you know what, I'm coming back. Yeah, because other than the, the guy that's been in every pack of each quadrant, I feel like we haven't had a ton of dupes, which is, which just means the set is huge. I would be very disappointed if we didn't get a Griffey. Bert, that would be uh, unfortunate. But we're off to a different quadrant now. We're over halfway. So hopefully that's the end of the Burt Bly 11 cards. Not that I don't like Burt, he's a nice guy. He's at spring training with the twins every year, but I don't need 18 of his. Uh... But Rick Dempsey's back. So this is a Rick Dempsey Burt Bly 11 hot box. Which maybe that means there's a Griffey that's like this out there somewhere in a sealed box, but Probably not too much of this stuff still around. Lenny Dykstra, uh, whoever that is, whoever that is. Burt Bly, <laughs> Burt Blylevin, back again in a different quadrant. So my theory was obviously off about one guy taking up most of. There's Tony Pena, we've seen him before. Jose Rijo, uh, bunch of guys. Burt again. If anybody out there needs any 89 Upper Deck Burt Bly 11, I am cornering the market right now. Jose Canseco. Haven't seen him pop up yet, but there's old Jose. Just jacked as ever. Juiced out of his mind. Chili Davis, Dave Rigetti. Mike Maddox. I thought that looked like Mike Maddox. Burt Bly 11. Jose Canseco again. Oh boy. So I hated on tops in my tweet when I was talking about that Bowman Heritage case, but it looks like Upper Deck didn't uh, didn't exactly have that nailed down either back in 1989. But you would think that uh, you know, 31 years later, 
we would have maybe figured out how to shuffle the cards a little better, but you know. They're just doing it for the, for the love of cards. They don't make any money. So I can understand if they're, uh, you know, don't have time to make sure some, some cards are dispersed evenly throughout packs. Uh, here we've got Darnell Coles, Bert Blylevin. Imagine that. Am I going to go this whole box with no Griffey? That would be extremely disappointing. But Tim Laudner, Twins uh, TV guy now. You know, a lot of people, there's a Yankee sticker. Mark Grant, Padres uh, color commentator. Um, and Burt Lylevin, shocking. I forgot what I was going to say. Lost my train of thought. But anyways, we are to our last quarter of this box. Kirby Puckett, that's a cool shot with McGuire sneaking in the back door there. Steve Sachs, Mickey Tendleton. And Rick Dempsey's back. Fourth card to last, as usual. Walt Weiss. All right, so I don't know how many packs left. It's, I don't know, less than eight, I guess. Maybe seven, eight. But uh, hopefully there's a Griffey. Benito Santiago. Dennis Martinez. Uh, Tom Bolton. All sorts of upside down. BJ Surhoff, he was a catcher. Rick Dempsey, per usual, Rob Dibble, and Benito. So honestly, the fact that we haven't gotten a Griffey is making me a little bit nervous, but, you know, apologies for all the stuff all over the mat now. That's the, these cards back in the day were just had, I don't know, I think they packed them with like sawdust or something. Just keep them from sticking. I'm kidding, they didn't do that. But there's all sorts of like paper crap just all over these. Rick Dempsey. Another Kirby Pucket. Rick Dempsey's catching up to Bert Lebelai 11 now. Ken Phelps. He's uh, he's getting his stretches in. Dude, baseball back in these days was so funny. It was more of a hobby than it was like a career. And this isn't even that long ago. Oh, Rick Dempsey. Oh, that's great. Just looks like a just looks like a dad out there. Just getting some quad stretches in. Mike Maddox again. So we're duping up on a lot of guys. And uh, still no Griffey. So I'm starting to get sad. This box, I mean, this box wasn't like expensive, but Rick Dempsey. <laughs> uh, but it, I mean, I was really hoping to hit one Griffey. I thought maybe, like our chances were pretty good at hitting two with... Uh, You know how many packs and you get and cards in a pack, but you know maybe it was a short print. I don't know. Rick Dempsey sure wasn't. There's another one, backwards and upside down. So if you happen to see any packs of this and you find a Griffey backwards and upside down as the fourth card to the back, buy all of the packs because every single pack will have a Griffey in it. Uh, Dan Plesac, Mitch Williams falling down, Rick Dempsey. Corey Schneider. All right, we're down to our last two packs. Please, please have a King Griffey Jr. rookie card. Whoa. What's uh, Lance McCuller Sr. looking at there? He's just ripping his head down. Dave Rigetti. Somebody. That guy. Rick Dempsey. Eric Show rocking some show flow there. Kind of looks like the guy from Gangs of New York. What's that actor's name? I think he has like three names. I don't know. Uh, Scott Sanderson, Chuck Finley. He's an OC guy. I've seen him around a few times. And another Chuck Finley in the same pack. Dave Winfield, Rick Dempsey. Lance McCullers again, and Rob Thompson. So that's that. That was our entire box of 89 per deck. Uh, unfortunately, no Griffey in this one. Pretty disappointing, but it was still fun to open up all these packs and 
kind of take a little trip down memory lane. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Like, subscribe, as I said before, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you.